let's look at multiplying binomials. For example, if we wanted to multiply 2x plus 5y and 3x minus y, we could take this entire binomial here and distribute it to each of these two terms, which would give us 2x plus 5y times 3x and then plus 2x plus 5y times negative y. And again, we can distribute this 3x to these two terms, as well as the negative y to these two terms, which gives us 2x times 3x plus 5y times 3x plus 2x times negative y and plus 5y times negative y, which is equal to 6x squared plus 15yx minus 2xy minus 5y squared. And now 15yx and negative 2xy are like terms because yx and xy are equal by commutativity. So we can combine them, which gives us our answer of 6x squared plus 13xy minus 5y squared. Now this type of multiplication comes up often, and there is an acronym used to describe it. And the acronym is FOIL. The F in FOIL stands for FIRST, which means we multiply the first terms in each binomial, so A times C. The O stands for outer, which means we multiply the outer terms in the two binomials, so A times D. The I stands for inner, which means we multiply inner terms of the two binomials, so b times c. And finally, the L here stands for last, which means we multiply the last terms in the two binomials, so b times d. And the answer to this multiplication is the sum of all of these, f plus o plus i plus l. So let's apply this method here to see that we get the same answer that we just found. Okay, so we still have this product, 2x plus 5y times 3x minus y. So what is f here? This is the product of the first terms in the two binomials. So 2x times 3x, which is 6x squared. And what about O? O is the product of the outer terms in the two binomials. So 2x times negative y, which is negative 2xy. And i is the product of the inner terms in the two binomials. So 5y and 3x, which is equal to 15yx. And L is the product of the last terms in the two binomials. So 5y times negative y, which is negative 5y squared. And therefore, this product is the sum of all of these. So it's 6x squared minus 2xy plus 15yx minus 5y squared. And again, negative 2xy and 15yx are like terms, so we can combine them, which gives us the same answer of 6x squared plus 13xy minus 5y squared.
So FOIL is a quick way to do distributive multiplication of two binomials. Let's see another example. Let's multiply these two binomials here. Well, we can apply the FOIL method we just saw. This is equal to the product of the first terms in the two binomials, so 2x times 2x, plus the product of the outer terms in the two binomials, so 2x times 1, and then plus the product of the inner terms in the two binomials, so negative 1 times 2x, and then plus the product of the last terms in the two binomials, so negative 1 times 1, which gives us 4x squared plus 2x minus 2x minus 1. And notice the outer and the inner terms will cancel, which leaves us with our answer of 4x squared minus 1. Now it should be pointed out that these binomials are special and that we're multiplying together the difference and sum of the same two terms. We have 2x and 2x and 1 and 1. And there is a special formula in this type of case. And the formula is that a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared because the outer and inner terms will always cancel, which is what we just saw. That is, in our case, our a is 2x and our b is 1. So our answer here is a squared minus b squared or 2x squared minus 1 squared, which is this 4x squared minus 1. Let's see another example. Now be careful here with this power of 2. We cannot apply that to each of these two terms. What this means is 3y minus 5 times 3y minus 5. So again, we can FOIL. This is equal to the product of the first terms in the two binomials, so 3y times 3y, and then plus the product of the outer terms in the two binomials, so 3y times negative 5, and then plus the product of the inner terms in the two binomials, so negative 5 times 3y, and then plus the product of the last terms in the two binomials, so negative 5 times negative 5, which is equal to 9y squared minus 15y minus 15y plus 25. And combining the outer and inner terms gives us our answer of 9y squared minus 30y plus 25. Now again, this is a common type of multiplication here, where we're multiplying a binomial by itself. And there's a special formula again in this type of case. And the formula is that a minus b quantity squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. That is, the outer and inner terms are the same, so there'll be two of them, which we just saw with a equal to 3y and b equal to 5. So our answer here is a squared or 3y squared minus 2 times a times b and then plus b squared or 9y squared minus 30y plus 25. And this is how we multiply two binomials. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.